Tell me about Marilyn's childhood, Gladys. Well, first, she wasn't Marilyn to me, you know. She was my little baby girl, Norma Jean. And Norma Jean, well, I guess she had a hard childhood. I, I don't know. She seemed to do okay in the end. Who was Norma Jean's father? Well, I'm, I'm not really sure. Probably my second husband, that guy Martin Mortensen. But you know, I'm not really sure. It might have been somebody else. I was married a couple of times after that, and I think I was seeing one of those guys around that time. Or, or you know what? It could have been that guy Charlie Gifford, that that handsome salesman from RKO Pictures. He was a devil. That guy. He was a real smoothie. Could have been him. Could have been him. So, did Norma Jean live with you when she was little? Then, sometimes, not always. See. I was already having some problems, and, and the docs, you know, they had me in and out of hospitals like this one. They said I was like a schizo or something. I still don't think so, but anyway, anyway, my family, my brothers and sister, they, they, she stayed with them sometimes, and I think maybe she was in foster care a couple times. I don't really remember. Tell me about Norma Jean's first marriage. Oh, that handsome fellow. There was another smoothie, that James Doherty. He's a lovely guy, you know. She would have been better if she'd stayed with him, but... He went off to join the Merchant Marines, and she got a job in that factory painting airplanes. There she was. And then that photographer guy, that, what was his name? David, David Conover. He came to the factory one day. He was doing some picture about working girls. Big deal, you know. And he saw her, and he took a real shine to her. He liked her well enough. And as soon as you know, he's got her quitting that good job working in the airplane factory and going into modeling. And that was really the start of it. She did real well with the modeling, but... That wasn't enough for her. She had to have more, and so then she started seeing these directors, and she knew how to get what she wanted from them, and my girl did. You'd think she'd have it made, you know. She got into the movies and all, but she was never happy. She was just, I don't know what was wrong with her. You know, you know how it ended in the end. She just never was happy. She always wanted more, my poor little girl.